Hello guys, myself Tosifar Rahman. Today I am going to discuss about recovery algorithm. Uh, so first uh, we know th uh, that recovery algorithm has few features: fa failure classification, storage structure, recovery and atomicity, log-based recovery, and remote backup system. Then uh, first we talk about failure classification. Uh, failure classification having transaction failure. Uh, first, we have, we talk about transaction failure, uh, logical errors. Transaction cannot completed due to some internal error conditions. Then another is system error. The database system uh, must terminate an active transaction due to an error condition, uh, as for example deadlock. And then uh, we talk about system crash. A power failure or other hardware or software failure cra causes the system to crash. Then another is a fail stop assumption. Non volatile storage contents are assumed to not be corrupted by system crash. And another is database system have numerous integrity checks to prevent corruption of disk data. And uh, now we talk about disk failure. A hit crash or similar disk failure destroys all the part of disk storage. Uh, destruction is assumed to be de detectable. Disk wire drives used to checksums to detect failures a recovery algorithms Consi consider transaction t1 that transfer 50 dollar from account a to account b to update subtract 50 from a and add 50 to b transaction ti requires updates to a and b to be output to the database a failure may occur after one of these modifications have been made but before both of them are made Modifying the database without ensuring that the transaction will commit may leave the database in an inconsistent state. Uh, not modifying the database may result in lost updates if failure occurs just after transaction commits. Recovery algorithm have two parts. First one, action taken during normal transaction processing to ensure enough information exists to recover from failures and uh, second one is action taken after failure to recover the database contents to a state that ensures atomicity consistency and durability then we talk about a storage structure uh, volatile storage does not survive system crashes examples main memory cache memory non volatile storage survive system crashes example disk tape flash memory non volatile battery backup ram but may still fail losing data and other one is stable storage a mythical uh, form of a storage that survives all failure appro approximated by maintaining multiple copies on distinct non volatile media see book for more details on how to implement a stable storage uh, we found this data from uh, dbms book so we suggest to read the proper book Stable storage implementation. Maintain multiple copies of each block on separate disk. Copies can be at remote site to protect against disasters such as fire or flooding. Failure during data transfer can still result in inconsistent copies. Block transfer can result in successful completion. Part partial failure. Destination block has incorrect information. And then total failure. De destination block was never updated. Protecting a storage media from failure during data transfer, one solution, exec execute output operation as follows, assuming two copies of each block, write the information onto the first physical block, when the first write successful completely, uh, write the same information onto the second physical block, the output is completed only after the second write successfully completes. That's all from my self, now another slide will be redirected to md rashid he completed the another slides hello myself md rashid i am from uh, um, btech itp section i am going to telling about uh, stable storage implementation um, uh, protecting uh, protecting storage media from uh, failure during data transfer and second one uh, uh, copies of black many differ um, due to failure during outputs operation to recover from failure uh, in uh, in this uh, in this involved uh, or uh, all uh, in consist blocks the first one consist block 
uh, first find uh, inconsistable block the first one uh, expensive solution uh, in this uh, uh, compare the two copies of every disk block and second one better solution uh, in this involve the record in pro uh, record in progress digs write uh, uh, writes on non valid volatile storage uh, means uh, a non volatile ram or a special area of disk uh, and next uh, and next uh, use this information during recovery to find blocks that's uh, uh, maybe uh, in consistent uh, and only compare copies of this and uh, and, and next uh, use in hardware raid uh, uh, raid systems and second one uh, if either copy of an inconsistent uh, inconsistent block is uh, detected to have an error uh, means bad uh, uh, checksum uh, overwrite uh, it by the other copy if both have number uh, error but are different uh, overwrite the, uh, the second block by the uh, first block uh, and uh, and next i'm going to the, the data i'm going to telling the data essays um, the point point number first uh, physical blocks are those blocks uh, residing uh, residing on the disks and uh, second one point the buffer blocks are the blocks residing temporarily in main memory and uh, and and third point uh, the block movement between disks and main memory are initial uh, initiates uh, through the following two operations uh, so, um, first one input uh, transfer the physical block b the main memory b to the main memory and uh, output uh, uh, transfer the buffer block b to the disk and uh, uh, replace the uh, appropriate uh, physical uh, block there and uh, third one at uh, fourth one point we assume for uh, uh, simplicity simplicity that is data atoms fit in and is storage inside a single block uh, thank you thank you